With GMS, it's easy to use the pest utility for automatic parameter estimation and calibration of mod flow models. The model I'll import includes observed flow data for the stream and observed heads at observation wells. It also includes recharge and hydraulic conductivity zones that will be used by the model for calibration. First, I'll edit the conceptual model and enter key values for hydraulic conductivity zones and recharge zones. Now I'll map those values in the conceptual model to the ModFlow grid with the Map to ModFlow command. I'll turn on parameter estimation in the ModFlow global options and set the starting heads to the computed heads from my last model run, which will help the model converge faster. Now I need to list the parameters I want to use. GMS detects the negative key values and automatically creates parameters from them. I just have to input minimum and maximum values and an initial value for each parameter. I'll increase the number of iterations in the solver to give the model a better opportunity to converge. Now I'm ready to save my project and run the model. PEST runs the model multiple times as it finds the optimum values for the parameters, which are those that produce the smallest error. Looking at the results, I can now see that the residual error has been greatly reduced for all of the monitoring wells. When I select the river arc group, I can see the computed and observed flows at the bottom left corner of the screen. Selecting the Properties dialog for the solution shows a list of the residuals. Now that I am finished using the inverse model, I am able to load and view the optimal parameter values. Notice that the starting values for all of the parameters have changed. PEST also has the option to output individual parameter sensitivities, and with GMS I can use the plot wizard to quickly create plots that show sensitivity for each parameter.